towards your friend, you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way Hello guys, welcome to my channel And today I'm going to take you through the good transcript test And these are the, okay, to, to apply for transcriber position You must complete quiz 100% correct using our guidelines so just go ahead and open the guidelines I've, I've opened the guideline it's here so in case I don't understand or I'm not sure about the question any question I can refer to the guidelines here so make sure you open the guidelines so that you can follow along each question can be can have one or more correct answer so you can have one question with uh, two to answer, okay, two correct answer. So the first question, <coughs> this is just grammar. They are testing you about the grammar. So I adore you and Dutch smile. So the correct answer is uh, C, your smile, okay, your smile. So let's go to the second question. <clears throat> Which of the following slug words or spoken contraction should be transcribed in a clean verbatim file the way it is said? So the correct the correct answer is sing spoken contraction. Right? Let's because the for the slug words you are not supposed to write these are words like gonna, gotcha, uh, wanna, all those kinda, sorta, all those cause, all those are slug words. And in a clean verbatim file on good transcript, you are supposed to, to expand the, the slug. So if someone says gonna, you are supposed to write going to. If someone say gotcha, you're supposed to to write got you, right? If someone say sorta, you're supposed to change that to sort of, kinda to kind of. So, you're, you're supposed to change that, all right? But for the contractions, you're supposed just to write them as it is, as it is said. So, if someone says it's don't expand it to it is just write at as it is that is it is no not it is sorry that is it's don't expand it sorry for that okay let's continue what is the correct format of time stamping change of speaker so the correct answer is uh the last option okay you can just come to the to the guidelines i've opened here and because they're asking for the type stamping for this uh, change of the speaker you just come and you just control on your keyboard just control control plus f then that bar will appear and just write type stamping time stamping okay so you have four four results here on our search and you just can just read through and see which one is okay for your file okay time time stamping time format must be like this one, all right and should be in bold all right then you just click enter to go to the to the next option okay it has jumped to three that is one two all right <coughs> so as you can see uh in clean verbatim file you are supposed to write the this 
in bold you have to write in bold the timestamp all right of course then the the speaker name so you just come back to this one and this one is the correct one this one is wrong because the timestamp uh, it's not in bold all right this one timestamp is not in bold okay this one is in bold but they are talking about the change of speaker and according to the guidelines the 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 speak the the temps temp stamps comes first then the the speaker all right all right let's continue the correct form of temp stamping is of course it's a because it should be in the square bracket and should be in bold so this one is wrong because uh, it is no, it is not in bold and also you can see the format is wrong right then this one is using the brackets and this one is using the curly bracket so this one is the correct answer is uh, a the rest are wrong okay longer speeches should be separated into the the paragraphs of okay you just come again to the to the guidelines and type paragraphs it's very easy to pass this uh this this exams so longer speeches should be separated into smaller paragraphs paragraphs shouldn't be longer than 500 symbols about uh 100 words or three to four lines in the transcription tool so when you come back you can see the correct answer is the last option d about 100 words or three to four lines in the times transcription tool so that is according to the guidelines so the last one not the last one uh, the next one is i met dutch in Luthian, luthiania so this one is just testing you about your punctuation and spelling so uh, i met of course you according to this option you're supposed to insert jane here jane is that is the name of a person and you can't capitalize it so this one is not the correct answer then the last one a name of a person should always start with a capital letter so the right answer is jane with a capital j all right let's go to question number seven i dutch to the gym last night now this one is testing you uh about your grammar all right if you know about the past tense present tense uh, yeah so the correct answer is uh, the last option which is d because i gone i gone to the gym last night that one is not correct grammar i was to the gym last night i was to the gym last night Okay, that one can also be correct. I was to the gym last night. Okay, uh, so this one, in case we fail this exam, I'll come back and I can, I can, I can click these two. I can choose those two options. I go to the gym last night. No, I went to the gym last night. Okay, let me see. I went to the gym last night. I was to the gym last night okay according to me those two two option uh, they seems to be correct answer this one b and d but we'll come to that if we fail this uh, test so let's first because this one is more clear uh, the option d let's continue what are the types of time stamping there are two types of time stamping in go transcript according to the guidelines and those are every two minutes and 
every change of a speaker all right so you have to click the two so the second last question how should we transcribe numbers okay so it's very simple you can just come to the guidelines again and write uh, number i don't know if it will you just press control plus f then this bar this bar here will appear and you just type what you want to search there so let me go down and see so as you can see here the last this one it says if a sentence combines small that is zero to nine which are supposed to be read, writing written off or uh, in in simple terms they are supposed you are supposed to to write this in words all right in larger numbers 10 are uh, on words you're supposed to to write them in digits but if they are combined in a single sentence you are supposed to transcribe all numbers in numerals even the 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 small numbers so because for for readability purposes all right so the correct answer is this one one nine ten one hundred however and this however it's because of this one if it is one in one line, it sh you should write all numbers in numerals for readabilities. Okay? Exception can be applied to improve readability. Money, years, measurement, percentage, all those. All right. So don't forget about that. So if it's money, years, uh, measurement, percentage, you should write in mm, digits. In digits form and don't forget if they are in one sentence you should write all digits in all all numbers in digit form right so we are on the uh, last question so what is the correct form of addressing internal dialogues okay this one is just checking if you know about the quotation marks how to use them uh, in the normal grammar so let's see what's wrong the the correct answer is b but let's see what's wrong with the uh with option a then i told myself comma what if i can't make it so the the wrong thing about this uh the first option is this question mark which is outside the quotation mark it should be inside the quotation mark all right so number c then i told myself what now the uh, w in what should be capital but in this case it's small letter so that is wrong then the last option then i told myself then we have the colon what if i can't make it okay you don't use colon after when you when you are inserting the quotation mark it should be a comma all right it's just a comma so the correct answer is b so let's try and submit this if if it's wrong uh, we shall come back to question number seven and we shall give it the two option all right so let's just click submit and see if we are okay okay this audio, this audio is used for the transcriber test. At so we are correct. All the questions were correct. Uh, because if you fail one question, uh, you are going to get, you, are, you, you won't be able to, to do the transcription part. So I'll, I'm going to do the transcription part. Then I'm going to upload it on the next video. So please, if you like this video, don't forget to like this video and subscribe it would give me morale to continue to to help you and be able to pass this good transcript test thank you for watching and tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way
you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away